Peace forever and always. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra. And uh, you've come to the right place. This is the Realities Temple on Earth. <laughs> and uh, I am the Angel Snuffin' Up 7. Your brother and hopefully your friend. Talik Ibn Ra. Um, welcome to my black brothers and sisters. And no matter what your race or your gender or creed, or, you're welcome here at the Realities Temple. We're not tripping off race. We're not tripping off sexual orientation and none of those things. I, you know, you can believe in God. You don't have to believe in God. It just doesn't make any difference. We want to be able to come together and talk with one another and compromise where we can compromise and try to find ways to get along. But we're going to do it open and honestly, however you feel like you want to talk. I mean, speak it so we can change things. But when we do this little try to be politically correct, we're trying not to hurt somebody's feelings and all like that. Nothing's never going to get accomplished. If you want real change, then be real. Just like my brother J.T. Riley says. He said, there are only two people, real and fake. So when you come here, I hope that we can, and I hope that I am real. I want to send this message to my brothers and sisters in the Nation of Islam. As many of you know, I am a former member of the Nation of Islam under the leadership of Brother uh, Louis Farrakhan. And as far as I'm concerned, I'll always be a part of the Nation of Islam. Whenever you watch any of my videos, you hear me talk, you will hear the voice of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you will hear the voice of Louis Farrakhan and Malcolm, you will hear the teachings of Master Farah Muhammad, and that's what I want to speak with us in these few minutes. I want to say to the members of the Nation of Islam, and I do love Brother Minister Louis Farrakhan, but in my humble opinion, Minister Farrakhan is not taking you where you really need to go. He is stuck in the past. And I say that based on these two things that I learned when I was in the nation. These two things always bothered me once I became a free thinker. I no longer just depended on these teachers or listening to Louis Farrakhan for guidance. I began to think for myself. Master Farah Muhammad had no intent to make Arab Muslims out of us. Master Farah Muhammad did not have no intent for the black man and woman in America to try to become Orthodox Muslims. When I was a young believer in the temple, I heard some brothers say that Master Farah Muhammad chose Islam as a religion for us because we were under the doctrinization of Christianity. So, y'all know when you're trying to stop smoking cigarettes, sometimes you got to get something to replace it because you just can't quit cold turkey. So, Master Farah Muhammad in his wisdom decided to take Islam and give us Islam as a religion to replace the Christianity that he wanted us to get away from and come up out of. He also chose Islam, the religion, because in the United States of America, religion is protected under the Constitution. 
That's the reason why he chose Islam. He could not choose atheism or none of these different things, even though the master might have wanted us to go that way. But during his period of time, he needed all the, the help he could get, and he knew that it would be an advantage giving us Islam. And he understood that Islam could be a vehicle to guide us to, towards where he wanted us to go. He, he knew that Christianity was the worst thing. I hope that y'all follow me in this. Later, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad tells us, I believe in the theology of time, he says, there is much that I want to speak to you about, but you're not ready yet. Your holy apostle, what could he be talking about? You're not ready for it yet. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad clearly makes it plain. He is not making no attempt to make us into Orthodox Muslim or guide us into is to Arabic Islamic practice. That's not the intent. He taught us when we pray to stand up, not put down a rug and bow down. I'm not going to get into that. Y'all understand why he had us to stand up. And he also taught us why you pray. That others don't pray and they watch while others pray and stay guard. But we get to the point where nobody's watching nothing while we pray. The nation of Islam is not moving forward like it should. Because it's not going in the direction. Louis Farrakhan in his wisdom has moved it as forward as he can. But he's stuck in the era where Elijah Muhammad said there is much I want to tell you but you're not mature enough. What could that be? Put that in your mind now. What if Master Farah Muhammad only chose Islam because it's a known religion and the Caucasian people that's going to eventually come against us would have slight problems because religion is protected under the Constitution. One of his, one of his intent was not to make us Muslims. One of his intent <laughs> was to take us out of the God thinking period. That's why Elijah Muhammad said, there's something I want to tell you, but you're not ready yet. Because how would you feel coming from out of Christianity to Islam, and then one day the Honorable Elijah Muhammad should tell us to accept our reality and there is no God. <laughs> How do you think we would have reacted with all our lives for generations upon generations we have been taught to believe that God is going to do this and God is going to do that. I'm just saying just putting that up in the air. I'm saying that putting it in the air because I know for sure the way I see the nation of Islam moving eventually becoming some form of orthodox Islam is not what Master Farah Muhammad wanted for us. We are not Arabs. That was for them. Prophet Muhammad came to Arabs. The Quran was given to Arabs. It was not given to black people. Elijah Muhammad is the last messenger. He was sent to us. Our Quran is message to the black man. Our Quran is our Savior has arrived. The fall of America. How to eat and live book one and two. And Elijah Muhammad had another book. He was going to call black or white. What do you think that was going to be? 
what I'm going to tell you, you probably won't like, but I'm telling you, is that <laughs> what I'm telling us on my videos and what I express is the manifestation of what the nation of Islam is supposed to really be about. That's right, I'm telling you. I'm the hybrid of the teachings of the Elijah Muhammad. Y'all really don't understand it. I'm just putting that out there. My time ran out. Just put that in the old mind and let it simmer. Jot down your comments. We can talk about it. Think of, really think about it. Don't trip on what I'm saying too much. Just think about it. Don't get mad. I'm out. Time is out.